mentioned not flinching um, prior. What's it like for you, 59 yard field goal, that weather? You got a trot Jake out there in that situation. You know, um, nobody I'd rather have in the NFL more than, than Jake Elliott. Um, shoot. To me, he's the best kicker in the NFL. Um, he's so clutch. He's so clutch, right? It, you know, I guess thoughts of um, thoughts of uh, the Washington game were in my mind, right? And we actually showed that clip yesterday. You know, we went through the room and talked about to everybody about the contribution. I, we couldn't, I couldn't hit everybody, um, but I hit about 25 guys about the contribution that they're going to have to make to for us to win this game. And and one thing I said to uh, Jake was, we're going to need your your clutch contribution. Um, Nobody else we'd rather have in the world than Jake Elliott kicking a field goal on that, and he was clutch. And that, you know, but because this is the greatest team sport there is, it couldn't be done without the protection. It couldn't be done without the snap by Rick, the hold by Braden, and the kick by Jake. So um, I didn't watch it. I still didn't watch it. Um, I had to get Clay and Fletch pointing at me that day. He made it, but um, man, he, he's clutch, and i um, glad he's our kicker. As frustrating as it was being out right now, are you more relieved or proud of that team because you know, your, your numbers were horrible for the early part of the third quarter and then you came back and you came back from 10 twice and you come back from 10 three times in the last few games and you did what you did at the end yeah. and you did it under man fast. You know, they, that's why they, they make it play 60 minutes, right? And so they, uh, that's why you can't look at the numbers or anything like that. You just got to keep putting your head down and fighting, and, and our guys did that. And that really just shows the mental toughness of our guys. Um, I'm happy. All right, I'm happy and I'm glad that we can learn from this. I think that's my emotion that I, that I have. I'm, I'm extremely happy um, that we found a way to win this football game. I'm extremely happy that the corrections will be made after a win uh, than after a loss, right? And, uh, you know, because there's going to be corrections that have to be made, and that's what we do uh, here. We, we make our corrections, we hold each other accountable, starting with myself. Um, and then with our leaders and, and, and it just that's contagious uh, the accountability is contagious and that's how you get better and so we got to get better uh, from from this but um, yeah happy is the emotion that I have right now Last one. as frustrating as it was to see Josh Allen run around doing all the things that he was doing how comforting was it for you that and you, you got your guys to do pretty much the same thing yeah, Jalen made some big time plays with his feet today on some scrambles. I think, you know, you can see that he's feeling pretty good, right? Um, and that he just he just made some big time plays. Um, you know, when the pass game wasn't going well, um, somehow he found a way to make plays. And so, you know, he, he you could see him have that acceleration that, that we're, we're all used to seeing. We could see it, um, you know, the ability to change direction, the power when he makes a cut, you saw all that. Um, and again, like, like I said, um, Jalen, you know, did, had a great second half. He had a great second half. Um, and Josh Allen was, you know, as, as frustrating as it may have been, it was still, he still made a lot of plays. It was, it was, uh, it was something to watch. Um, and I got a lot of respect for him uh, and the plays they made. What changed in the second half? I guess we just decided to go play. Uh, what's it like watching Jake line up for that uh, long kick? Oh, that's money every time. No doubt in my mind. I know some guys don't watch, some guys do. Are you watching? I'm watching. Man. If you don't watch, it's because you, you scared of what may happen. I know it's money, so I'm going to watch it. Uh, you had some big catches uh, late in that game. Uh, what is it about you that, that allows you to come through in, in those clutch moments? I'm just doing my job. You know, coaches trust me, Jalen trust me, they um, you know, give me an opportunity. I'm just going out there, making the most of it. Did you have a view on uh, on Jordan Davis chasing down uh, Josh Allen? Or... Yeah, man, that's a, that's a big boy, hard fall. I know it hurt. Just the fact that he's able to kind of stick with him on that. Oh, yeah, you see J.D. do that all the time at practice, you know, chasing after the quarterback and things like that. Maybe, you know, defense do a good job of getting to the ball. Everybody runs to the ball, so I expect nothing less. Seems like we do this every week. We talk about a big win, but, like, a, a ton of stuff is still – clean up. How do you view uh, a performance like that? You're always grateful for the win, but we can make things a whole lot less stressful. We just come out playing the first half. What do you think that is? That first half, last two weeks, um, I honestly do not know. Just look like we just go out there slow and then second half come, we just be ready to play football. You guys all stick together, I imagine, right? 
Oh yeah, it's never no doubt in our mind. If we go out there, everybody knows, you know. We're gonna end up putting this together. Just keep fighting, man. That's that's the whole thing with this team. No matter what's going on, nobody's gonna quit. Everybody's gonna always fight. On your touchdown reception in midair, you kind of turned and took the hit in the back. So they didn't, did you do that on purpose so they wouldn't hit the ball or just, just kind of how, how your body was turning? Uh, Jalen kind of helped me out with the throw. He kind of threw me that way to um, protect me. So I appreciate him for that. Devonta, so you've had a team this year and so many games like this. What does this one do? I mean, in the overtime, the comeback the way you guys did in the third second of the I mean, it, it don't, I don't think it can get no worse than this. Down with the weather conditions and things like that, going to overtime and things. Um, maybe it could get worse, but this is probably one of the worst ways I've seen. You had your hands in your pocket up until the snap. You take it out, right out. Oh, yeah, just keep your hands dry. You gotta, you gotta keep your gloves dry. You know, and we, we just continue to find ways to win. We continue to find ways to win. We play together. We, uh, we've shown our resiliency. Uh, Day in and day out, game in and game out, we've been challenged in a number of different ways. Um, but we, we always find a way, you know, and that's something you can't really take for granted. Um, and it's hard to quantify. Um, obviously, we have a ton to clean up. I have a ton to clean up. I, I have not um, executed to the level of, of my standard and, and what that is yet. And, you know, it seems to be enough. Um, but in terms of the standard that um, I like to play to uh, consistently and I'd like us to, to play to consistently as a team, enough is never enough. And so you just want to continue to strive uh, for more um, and play to that standard, you know, but I think in those moments, um, you just truly never want to get too high, never get too low. And, um, you know, we, we found a way to, in the end um, and we made it happen. <clears throat> it was a bit beyond what our range was that we talked about, but we'll uh, we'll take it. Jake, was the wind kind of like ribbons on top of the post, kind of flapping in your direction? I mean, was yeah, it was it was a uh, it was kind of swirling all night. <clears throat> I would say at the beginning of the game that was definitely the the tougher end to kick on, but as the game kind of progressed, it, it became more of a more of a crosswind. So I, I appreciated that. <laughs> Did you try not to get under it too much? You know, try to hit it yeah, I, need, I definitely needed to drive it in order to get it there. So uh, took a little air out of it. I look, it looked like a long drive. So <clears throat> you worry about somebody getting their hands up. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> rule number one for me is I, I got to get it there in order to give it a chance. So um, I know those guys do a great job. We got we got one of the best units up front there. So I know they're not going to get a lot of push. Um, <clears throat> so they, they did a great job as always and made a big made a big play as a team. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't have an answer for you there. I, I think those are kind of situations I've always thrived in. Um, kind of going back to high school through college, I feel like I've been put, put in those situations quite a bit. And um, <clears throat> yeah, for whatever reason, I, I, I really like those situations. So uh, feel an extra, extra boost of confidence. And, and like I said, we got one of the best units up front. So they do a great job. Rick, Rick threw a great ball in, in awful weather, and Braden, Braden did a great job too. So. Sorry, uh, you had previously ranked your best kicks. One, Super Bowl. Two, 61 against the Giants. Three, 54-yarder this year in overtime Washington. 48-yarder versus Oakland in the snow for 61-yarder versus Minnesota this year. Yeah. Where's this one right? I don't, I don't know. I think that was probably, given the conditions and everything, that was probably the toughest one I've had to hit. Um, but I, I don't know. I don't think I can rank it quite yet. <clears throat>